laws are very fact intensive. These particular issues are similarly fact intensive. Uh, we're very concerned about the issues that you brought up. I, I've had, uh, as you know, uh, multiple conversations with you about those issues. And uh, again, I'm more than willing to acknowledge publicly that it is legal under your administration for a, for a program to discriminate solely on religion. And you just want to acknowledge it. I mean, are you too embarrassed about the policies or say, yes, under your administration, there are certain sponsors that can discriminate solely based on religion? Sir, what, what, I, what I've said, Congressman, is that I want to, I want to look at the totality of the circumstances. That if there is, if the, it is certainly possible that such discrimination would be there. But I, I do not like to. I said we. I don't want to. I don't want to issue categorical statements, sir, because absent the specifics of a given factual circumstance, it is. It is. Uh, I think ill-advised to render broad opinions. Just as it's not uh, a broad opinion. I just ask you simply whether it's possible under your administration for any sponsor of a federally funded program to have an articulated policy discriminating against people solely based on religion or not. Is it possible? Sure is. I, I, again, I will reiterate what I have said uh, today. And the answer is yes, it is possible. Maybe yes, it is, it is possible. Right. But again, I need yeah. to understand. Is it, it, possible? The, it is possible. It, sir, it is. I, I, I hear, can I hear the rest of your question, sir? Is it possible for a faith-based organization to just tell a job applicant that we don't hire people of your religion, even though you'd be paid with federal money? Oh, okay. I thought you asked the opposite question. Is it possible that such activity would constitute discrimination? And they said, yes, it is possible. We would have to look at the totality of the circumstances. Is it legal? Well, just unlawful can it, discrimination. Can it, can it, it, is, legal? it is possible uh, that the circumstances you described would constitute unlawful discrimination, which is why I would want to look at the totality of the circumstances. It's possible that it could be unlawful, and it's possible that it could be lawful. And it all depends on the factual circumstances of the matter. So, so that's why I would want to. So, so get back to my original question that you don't want to answer because I, I assume you're just too embarrassed to tell a declaratory sentence that it is possible under your administration to run a federally funded program and have an articulated policy of discriminating solely based on religion and employment. Is it possible? As a general matter, uh, Congressman, I'll see if I can uh, attempt to address your question again. It is unlawful for any employer to have a policy specifically discriminating against employees of a particular religion. Uh, and so that is, such as uh, Catholics or, or Jews, if you put a sign up, no Catholics need apply. Um, however, uh, qualifying religious organizations uh, may give um, uh, employment preferences to co religionists And so the question of whether and under what circumstances a particular uh, religious organization may prefer co religionists in employment with respect to positions funded by the U.S. is indeed complicated, fact-driven, context-dependent. And that is why it is impossible for me to give you a categorical one-size-fits-all answer. I didn't ask for one-size-fits-all. I ask you to acknowledge that under your administration it's possible to run a program solely based on religion, and all you've given is a bunch of mumbo-jumbo uh, avoiding the question. The answer is yes. Yes, you can, under certain circumstances, tell a job applicant, no, you can't have a job because we don't hire people with your religion. And that's, that's the answer, and you refuse to give it, I assume, because you're too embarrassed to acknowledge the fact. Thank you. I'm going to ask the answer your question. I apologize that it, it's not been that for you. With that, uh, I want to thank the witness for his